Recently, the new version of the DJI Avita had a few more leaked images that confirmed my suspicion that the Avita 3 will actually be an Avita 360. Last month, I made a detailed video explaining the reasons that led me to this conclusion. But this new leak brought another big surprise that's about to revolutionize the drone world. Apparently, the new Avita will be the world's first hybrid drone, capable of filming both in full 360-degree mode and in the traditional FPV style with a camera facing forward. After the success of the first Avita and the improvements made with the Avita 2, everything suggests that the Avita 360 will be a major leap in innovation, design, and performance. This new drone promises to combine the thrill of FPV flying with the creative freedom of 360 cameras, making it perfect for both professionals and enthusiasts who want an exciting flight experience with highly immersive footage. The first time we saw the new Avita was in this leak from May of this year. It shows a prototype being tested in the field. The image isn't very clear, but I made a few adjustments to enhance the quality and got this result. If we place it side by side with the Avita 2, we can compare them and identify the main differences. The first thing we can notice is that the Avita 360 looks thinner and more elongated. The top section of the drone was lowered and is now almost level with the rotors. This flatter design was likely created so the drone's body won't be captured by the 360 lenses, making the Avita invisible. And to compensate for this reduced height, it gained extra length, which made the rear section more pronounced. Another very noticeable change is the color. This model is light gray, similar to the new DJI drones, like the Neo 2. And speaking of it, the similarities don't stop there. The Avita 360 is practically an enlarged Neo 2, since both share many characteristics that we'll explore next. But the detail that stands out the most in this image is the size of the camera. The entire module is noticeably larger and more exposed, probably because it needed to be redesigned to fit the 360-degree lens system. But notice that in this first leaked image from May, the Avita prototype doesn't seem to have one of the 360 lenses on top. At that time, DJI was still keeping this feature a secret. However, on August 14th, the drone market was shaken by the announcement of the anti-gravity, which would be the world's first 360-degree drone. Even though it's a revolutionary concept, it's still just a prototype, with an expected launch in January 2026. But that alone was enough to raise a big question. Will DJI really let that happen? After all, the company already dominates both technologies drones and 360 cameras. All it needed to do was combine the two and create its own drone with this kind of camera. And it looks like that's exactly what they did, because the very next month, these two brand new leaked images of the Avita prototype appeared. But to our surprise, we could see a few new details that weren't visible in the first leaks. Could this bump be the top lens of a 360 camera? And that raised another question. Is DJI planning to release two versions of the Avita? This image also revealed for the first time the front of the prototype, and we can spot some very interesting details, like these four black dots, which are most likely two optical sensors, and a pair of LiDAR sensors. And now you're probably wondering, if the Avita is an FPV drone, why would it have an anti-collision system? Another strange detail is this white rectangle on the front of the drone. It looks like a high-intensity LED, and it's placed exactly where we expected to see the camera lens. And the mystery doesn't stop there, because this whole front module appears to be a moving piece, stabilized by a single-axis gimbal. On top of it, we can clearly see that bump again, which really looks like the upper lens of a 360-degree camera. This possibility becomes even more evident in the other image, where the prototype is seen from above, and from this angle the bump on the top becomes much more noticeable. And if we apply a few adjustments to improve the quality, it looks even more like the spherical lens of a 360-degree camera. 
But then, what's the explanation for that first image of the Avita 3, which apparently didn't have a 360 camera? The solution to this mystery was quietly revealed in these more recent leaks. I believe the Avita 360 will be a hybrid drone, meaning it will have two operating modes, which I'll call dual vision. It will be able to switch from 360 mode to FPV mode simply by rotating the gimbal 90 degrees. So in that first leak, the Avita was in FPV mode, with one camera facing forward and the other one facing backward, remaining hidden and inactive. But after the anti-gravity was announced, DJI had to react quickly, and that's why these leaks happened, to show that they also already had their own 360-degree drone prototype. But in doing so, they were forced to reveal a major secret. Their 360-degree drone will actually be the new Avita. I believe that when the Avita is in stabilized FPV mode, it will behave similarly to the Neo 2, taking advantage of the latest modern technologies. So when it's being controlled with the Motion Controller 3, together with the Goggles 3, or N3, it will likely rely on the new front anti-collision sensors and the front LiDAR system, in addition to the traditional rear optical sensors, and the bottom infrared sensor. All of this, should provide a much more immersive and safer flight experience. But the big highlight of the Avita, is the manual FPV mode, which unlocks the drone's full potential. In this mode, it behaves much more like the Avita 2, disabling all sensors to give experienced pilots total freedom to perform aggressive maneuvers. To access this mode, it needs the FPV Controller 3, which also works together with the Goggles 3, or the more affordable option, the Goggles N3. But without a doubt, the biggest innovation of this drone will be its new 360-degree feature. When the drone is in this mode, the gimbal will position itself so that the two spherical lenses point upward and downward. Each lens should have a 180-degree field of view and 4K resolution. These two images will then be merged through AI processing, making the drone invisible and creating a single 8K, fully 360-degree image that captures everything around it, allowing you to choose the best angle later during editing. These images also reveal that when the avatar is flying in 360 mode, it will rely on a full 360-degree anti-collision system, but notice that it only has sensors on the front. So I believe, the Avita will use the 360 camera lenses themselves as optical sensors, working together with the other sensors and the LiDAR system, to deliver powerful protection from all directions. These images also suggest that the Avita 360 will feature advanced tracking capabilities, just like the Mini 5 and the Neo 2, which offer the newest active track modes, that can follow subjects at high speed while dodging obstacles quickly and safely. It's also possible, that the Avita 360 will support gesture controls, allowing you to direct the drone without using a controller. And since it will be compatible with all these control methods, Hey Fly, take a drony. Voice commands, and Wi-Fi control, shouldn't be left out either, along with the traditional controllers. And this was confirmed in one of the leaks, where an RC2 appears clearly, and it will almost certainly be compatible with the RCN3 as well. This ability to rotate the gimbal, will also be useful when the drone is landing. The Avita 360 will likely use its sensors to detect how close it is to the ground, and automatically move the gimbal into FPV position to avoid damaging the bottom lens. The anti-gravity has a similar system, but since its camera is fixed, it uses retractable landing gear to provide that protection. The Avita 360's camera will likely have specifications very similar to the Osmo 360, which uses a 1-inch sensor. When it's in panoramic mode, using both lenses, it can take photos at up to 120 megapixels and record in 8K at 50 frames per second. And when it's using only one lens, which in the drone's case, would be equivalent to FPV mode, it shoots 30 megapixel photos and records in 5K at 60 frames per second. One thing that should improve a lot, is the range. 
Right now, the Avita 2 reaches 13 kilometers, but the Avita 360 will likely come with the latest transmission system, 04 Plus, which goes up to 20 kilometers and offers much better stability. And that's exactly what matters for an FPV drone. Image transmission quality and low latency make all the difference when performing high-speed maneuvers. As for battery life, the official Avita 360 label has just leaked, and based on that data, we can estimate that the endurance should improve only slightly, going from the current 23 minutes of the Avita 2 to around 25 minutes on the Avita 360. And proportionally, we can also estimate the weight. It should be a bit higher, increasing from 377 grams to approximately 450 grams. If all these rumors turn out to be true, the DJI Avita 360 has everything it needs to become the most innovative and powerful drone the brand has ever released. It will appeal to beginners who just want a safe and fun experience, as well as professional content creators who demand maximum quality and performance. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.